mirrors lie. They don't show you what's inside. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Did I scare you? This is just me, Mrs. Kulasi, ending with I because I love you. Today, we will talk about image formation and different types of mirrors. Not just plain mirrors, but also with the curved ones. Understanding the image formation, we must be familiar how reflection happens. We must distinguish the two types of light rays. The light ray that strikes the object, so let's say the mirror, is called the incident ray. While the light ray that leaves the mirror is called the reflected ray. Drawing an imaginary line from the common point of reference of these two light rays forms the normal line. As the first law of reflection states, Incident ray, reflected ray, and normal line lie on the same plane. Between incident ray and the normal line forms the angle of incidence. While on the other side, between the reflected ray and the normal line, is the angle of reflection. The second law of reflection states that the angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection. So if the incident ray strikes the mirror at 60 degrees or forming an angle of 60 degrees with the normal line, how will the reflected ray leave the mirror? At what measure of the angle? Also, at 60 degrees because that is the second law is all about. Varying reflection is always associated on the texture of the surface. When the water on the lake is still, it gives us a defined reflection. This happens over smooth surfaces. This is called a specular reflection. But when the water is troubled, it gives us a blurred reflection. The image is not well defined. It's because of the rough surface. This is now called a diffuse reflection. The quality of image is also associated with the type of mirror that we are going to use. The flat ones are known as the plain mirror. The one that we use in the bathroom is an example of a plain mirror. While those which took part of a spear are known as the curved mirrors or the spherical mirrors. Shiny metallic spoon can give us or can demonstrate to us how image differentiated from spherical mirrors. The inside part of the spoon where we use to put our food is an example of a concave mirror, while the back part of the spoon demonstrates a convex mirror. You see on the illustration, it gives us different image projection. We can distinguish the type of image based on the image projected by the mirror. If the orientation is upright, we can say that the image is virtual. But if the image projected by the mirror is inverted, then the type of image is real. So let us start describing the characteristics 
of image formed by a plane mirror. A five foot tall girl is standing in front of a bathroom mirror. How tall is the image formed by the mirror? Of course, it is five feet. Now, suppose that the girl stood two steps away from the mirror. How far is the image from the mirror? Also, two steps away. Now, if the girl raises her left hand, the image from the mirror raises which hand? The left or the right? It is the right hand. That phenomena, that phenomena is called the mirror left-right reversal. That is the main reason why the word ambulance is written laterally inverted in front of the vehicle. It is for the drivers in front of it so that when they read it on the rear view side they can read it properly with this phenomenon can you name letters of the alphabet which are written in all caps that can still be read properly on the mirror so these are a h i m o t u v w x and y even if you're going to read it in the mirror they will still be read properly so let us try to sum up let us now describe the characteristics of the image formed by plane mirror in terms of the following let's compare the size of the object with the image formed by the mirror the size is just the same. How about the distance of the image from the mirror to the distance of the object from the mirror? Okay, it's still the same. How about the orientation? Is it inverted or upright? It's upright. If it is upright, what type of image is formed by plane mirror? It's virtual. So now let us see how image is formed by curved mirror. Let's start with concave mirror. What are the qualities of the image when the objects stood far from a concave mirror? The size is reduce, it is inverted, and if it is inverted, therefore the type of image is real. How about if we put the concave mirror near the object? The size is enlarged. The orientation is upright and the type of image is virtual. This time, let us use a convex mirror. Convex mirror has a reflector on its bulging side. What are the qualities of image when the objects stood far from the convex mirror? In terms of size, orientation, and type of image. It is reduced. The image you see on the mirror is upright. And if it is upright, therefore, the type of image is virtual. What about if we put the object near the convex mirror? What are the qualities of the image when the object stood near the convex mirror?
the size is reduced, it's upright, and since it is upright, the type of image is virtual. So let us sum up the concepts that we've learned today. Now let us have the comparative characteristics of the image formed by plane and curve mirror. On the plane mirror, how will you describe the size of the image with the size of the object? Yes, the size of the image is the same as with the size of the object. How about the size of the image versus the size of the object in curved mirrors? It it varies. How about the height of the image versus the height of the object in plane mirror? The height of the image is the same as the height of the object. How about in curved mirror? The height of the image varies with the height of the object depending on the distance of the object standing in front of either convex or I mean concave mirror. How about the distance of the image from the mirror versus the distance of the object from the mirror? When you use a plane mirror, it's just the same. For a curved mirror, it also varies depending on the type of mirror that you use. And the last one, what type of image is projected by a plane mirror? Virtual only. They are always upright. For a curved mirror, it varies. It depends on the type of curved mirror that you use. If it is a concave mirror, it may produce virtual or real image. But if you use a convex mirror, at any point from the mirror, it produces a virtual image. So our dear learners, please be guided with the schedule of activities for week 3 of Science 10 Quarter 2. So here are the expected outputs to be submitted for week 3. So thank you so much. You may now leave our Google Meeting Room.